What's up, y'all? So it looks like Title 47 is done. Record immigration is taking place. We have 67,759 migrants apprehended at the U.S. border this week. Border crisis is currently ongoing, and more people are pushing forward. People all the way from Africa are going to Mexico just to make it into the United States. So let's just read the story. U.S. border agents apprehend a record-breaking 67,759 illegal migrants in the past week alone, including sex offenders, and gang members, as well as a massive stash of fentanyl, officials said Friday. Another 15,780 illegal immigrants eluded the capture. So in total, about 80,000 people, 82,000 people blasted their way into America. 15,000 are just gone in the wind, don't know where they are. 15,000 people is a lot of people, especially, like I said, obviously, all the people are not gang members. They're not felons. They are people trying to get to a better life. But as an American citizen, you don't want even a thousand of them people, even a hundred of them people, fifty of them people to be people of bad nature. You just don't want that. So among those caught were five sex offenders, four gang members, and two felons. Authorities said agents also received 56 pounds of fentanyl, 179 pounds of me uh, methamphetamine, 35 pounds of, 34 pounds of cocaine, five pounds of heroin, and seven firearms. That's getting through. There's, like I said, there's bad people getting through. Border officials have struggled to manage an overwhelming surge in illegal immigration after the expiration of Title 42 public health order, which allowed for expedited deportations during the coronavirus crisis. Migrants have been massing at the southern border in recent days, which officials reporting that at least 10,000 people have been streaming across each day. Think about that. If you have 10,000 people coming across each day, let me do the math, quick math on this. So 10,000 people and you have 365 days in a year. Let's go ahead and zero all those out. Zero, 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 five. Zero, 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 six. I don't know. It's a lot of fucking people. I ain't going to do the math. I ain't going to lie to you. You know what? I will do the math. I'll be right back. Because I want to know exactly how many people they got flooding over here if that's the accurate number day by day. Great. So I'm back. So I didn't even do 10,000 because 10,000, maybe that's a stretch that every day will be 10,000. So I just have to do 5,000 people. So 5,000 per day would equate to 1.8 million people flooding into the country on a yearly basis. Like I said, I, I took from the 10,000 numbers they gave. I dropped it to 5,000 because maybe the, the 10,000 is a little too generous. People are gearing up. They know the Title 42 is expiring, so they're coming through. So anyways, as concern of the surge short, a Florida federal judge halted a Biden administration plan to release the migrants into the U.S. without giving them notices to appear in court to process their asylum request. Think about that. Biden was about to let people just come in America. No notice to reappear. Nothing. Just, hey, you here. Well, you free. So when you see things like that, can you really be upset when you see Governor Abbott busting people to D.C., busting people to New York, busting people to Chicago, can you really be mad about that? Like, this is y'all's policies. Y'all want this. People in Texas, they don't want this, right? It's not to say they don't care about immigration, they don't care about Hispanics or Africans or immigrants in general. Just not an influx, just not a mass amount where there's no regulation on who's going where, who's doing what. They don't like that. Look at the border. El Paso said they feel like they've been abandoned by the Biden administration. And people would like you to believe that the only people that care about this is white, MAGA, xenophobic, Trump-supporting Republicans. It's not that. I got a story out of Chicago. Chicago residents, they're not playing about this shit either. Let's get a During little whiff of this. community meeting at South Shore College Prep. There were so many angry outbursts, they never gave their presentation. I don't have anything else to say. I'm ticked off. And think about this. They're only upset about an additional 250 migrants being put in a school in their community. They mad they wasn't consulted about it. They're mad about where their tax dollars going. And y'all tell me, does this look like You're doing the typical wrong. You're doing Trump wrong. MAGA supporter that you would be seeing in the media? People, give me a break. More Give me than a break. 8,000 migrants have been bused to Chicago, most of them from Texas, since late August. The city has housed asylum seekers in shelters, park district facilities, and police stations. City Hall now proposes housing 250 to 500 migrants at the shuttered South Shore High School. It is a chair for them to sit, a place to decompress, and a place to take a hot shower. That's really what this is and a nice meal. It's a place to decompress and not be in a police district. Despite community pushback, the city opened a vacant Woodlawn School to migrants earlier this year. South Shore residents expressed similar concerns about safety, use of their tax dollars. Many felt blindsided. We do not hear from city officials. Oh, pro-Trump MAGA right there. Pro-Trump MAGA. Until election time. It's, um, 
This is in Fountain at its best. 49th Ward Alderwoman Maria Haddon says the city should consider housing migrants at McCormick Place, Navy Pier, or vacant big box stores so neighborhoods are not inconvenienced. Haddon says managing... So like I said, they don't even say you can't bring them here. Just don't bring them into my neighborhood. Put them in the big box stores that's unavailable. Put them by the marina and them big ass warehouses over there. Just don't not consult my neighborhood and then have people come into our neighborhood. And I think people, it's kind of like... It's kind of like the LGBTQ thing. Like, if you're against it, like, they, they throw these in. Oh, you hate you hate immigrants. You hate Mexicans. You hate this. You hate that. It's like, not that. I just want you to better regulate it. Like I said, we already have fentanyl flooding in. We're going to have more fentanyl flooding in because people are going to be masked within these people. Like, that's the nuance behind it. I know majority of the people that are trying to get here are not bad people. They're not. But the bad people are going to weasel their way in here. And it's going to be because you're not really regulating the border. So I feel like this is going to be another hot button issue that the Republicans will use come 2024. Now I'm about to make a video about Trump doing a scene in town hall and how that looks, but I just think it's smart for them to handle it now because when it comes to 2024, I mean, a lot of people are like, hey, y'all, y'all, this mass influx came in, this happened, that happened, my area became this and that, and they don't like it. Like I said, they want you to believe that's only white, MAGA, hillbilly, Republicans that would say, fuck the immigrants, go back to your country. It's not that. Because like I said, these people aren't even saying, go back to your country, we don't want you here. They're saying, damn, our, our city government, our city officials are kind of inconveniencing us. They're not, they're not talking to us about what decisions they're making that will affect us. Y'all can bring the migrants, but put their ass over there in a more well-regulated area where they can be cared after, have the hot shower, have the hot meal, do all that. When y'all just drop them off in these neighborhoods, the people in these neighborhoods are going to feel a certain type of way about it. So um, I think it's going to get a lot worse as far as the coverage of it, the crisis of it, people dying, separations, illegal drugs getting over here, felons, rapists, whatever. It's going to, it's going to get worse. So let me just read the rest of this article. So spurred by a lawsuit by Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody, uh, Judge Kent Witherell put in place a restraining order that will remain for two weeks until the issue can be sorted. Withrow has denounced the federal response to the spiraling crisis, asserting that tax, uh, lax policies have transformed the border into a meaningless line in the sand. Moody, in arguing for the restraining order, said there is no mechanism to track the movements of released migrants once they enter the country. According to reports, thousands of migrants were already released from custody Thursday before Withrow ruling came down. Officials report that 28,000 people were in custody Wednesday before an order came down from Border Patrol Chief Raul Ortiz to begin releasing migrants. 28,000 people. Biden administration officials said the Florida judge ruling will lead to overcrowding at swamp processing centers, but agreed to abide by the decision. CPB will comply with the court order in assessing next steps, Customs and Border Protection said in a statement. Uh, this is a harmful ruling that will result in unsafe overcrowding at CBP facilities and undercut our ability to efficiently process and remove migrants and risk creating dangerous conditions for Border Patrol agents and migrants. Uh, in the sobering inventory of last week's border chaos, Ortiz also reported the assault of three border agents along with the seizure of $83,000. We're already breaking and we haven't hit the starting line. A Department of Homeland Security official told NBC earlier this week, warning that conditions will likely worsen. Like I said, it's, it's like a double-edged sword. It's like, okay, hey, stop it. Make it more organized. The migrants get mad. They might get aggressive. Bitch, we get into this country. Regardless or not, they start flooding the shit. They, violence happens, whatever. Or you just catch, release. There's no tracking. You don't know where people are going. You don't know what's going on. And then that's why I say you can't get mad when, okay, hey, we'll let them in. We'll process them quickly for y'all. But as soon as they get processed in through the border, they're going to hop on this charter bus. They're going to go to California. They're going to go to here, Sanctuary City, New York, here, here. And that's we got the mayor of New York saying, hey, we don't want these migrants here. Got people in Chicago saying, hey, we don't want these people here. Well, hey, we don't want them down here. Y'all ain't pressing for fucking better border, so we're going to just send them up there to y'all. Is it right to have these people moved around like cattle? On a human level, no, it doesn't look right. It just doesn't. But the reality is, if y'all ain't going to try to push for it down here for us, we live here, right? We're on the border. We deal with it directly. We have a lot more immigrants in our area than y'all do. So we're going to bust a couple hundred, fifty, couple thousand up to y'all. We possibly getting millions flowing through here yearly. But let me know what y'all think about the conversation down, man. My mentality when I, when I do start to be like, damn, this is a lot. That's what it's supposed to feel like. If, if you are going toward what the vision look like, and that's like greatness. Like this shit ain't supposed to feel comfortable. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to stretch you. It's supposed to be a burden to a degree. You gotta wrap your mind around that and accept it and embrace it. And you catch some wisdom.